What's next for Michigan? As we near the last quarter of the year, Governor Gretchen Whitmer outlined what's to come before 2024. And TV5's Trey Harris breaks down the governor's address today. I'm excited to be here as we round out eight months of history and progress. Governor Gretchen Whitmer held her what's next address today in Lansing. The governor laid out four key points she plans to address leading into the new year. What's next on the fall agenda for Michigan is the health of our people, the health of our planet, the health of our economy, and the health of our democracy. So let's dig in. Governor Whitmer's focus on the improvement of health care in multifaceted ways saw her also take time to acknowledge the efforts communities in Michigan are taking to revitalize the state. In Senator McDonald Rivets, Bay City District, SK Siltron is making semiconductor wafers in Michigan instead of overseas. And we've seen how chip shortages and long lead times result in unfinished cars sitting in lots. The governor's first subject to address focus on repealing state laws that take away women's rights. With the U.S. Supreme Court stripping away basic rights, we must be proactive about repealing these antiquated state laws. Governor Whitmer also addressed the plan to tackle the cost of prescription drugs, wanting to allow the Prescription Drug Task Force to enact policies and actions to drive prices down. Unfortunately, we know too many people still pay too much out of pocket to get the medicines they can't live without. Like Kay from Genesee County. Let's further lower the cost of prescription drugs by implementing the task force's remaining recommendations, like establishing an independent, nonpartisan prescription drug affordability board. That board would use data and evidence-based research to help lower those costs. Governor Whitmer also has plans for the Michigan Public Service Commission, plans such as permitting clean energy projects through the commission and authorizing them to put climate inequity into the regulatory decisions, holding utilities accountable. The Flint water crisis shows what, hap what can happen if we don't put health first. As we expand clean energy, we must protect our communities from pollution. Legislation has already been proposed to both the Michigan House and Senate. If the proposed idea passed, the state of Michigan could see additional jobs and money coming to families. We can achieve 100% clean energy while creating jobs, lowering costs, and bringing back billions of our federal tax dollars from Washington home to Michigan. In Saginaw, Trey Harris, WNEM TV5. Governor Whitmer also plans to tackle lower health care costs, proposing protections for pre-existing conditions, keeping children on insurance until they're 26, and banning annual and lifetime caps on medical assistance.